I'm going to show you how to get started creating your first iPhone app in Windows. First you need to get Microsoft Visual C++ which is available for free and I've provided a link to the right. Then you also need Dragonfire SDK which is in the second link. Once you've downloaded and installed Dragonfire SDK, go to C colon Dragonfire SDK on your computer. Here you'll find a few sample apps and a folder called My First App. What we'll do is create a copy of My First App and we'll start there. First, let's transfer new files into our project inside of Debug Assets Images. Now we'll back up a few folders and click the VC Proj file. This will open our project inside Visual C++. Just to see what that looks like, let's click the play button and see what we have. This is what my first app looks like to start with. I'm going to delete all of the existing code and start from scratch. First, we'll use image add to load an image from memory. This gets it ready to be used by our app. We'll store the result of the image add function in a variable called image. View add is what draws the image on the screen. We'll specify the image we just loaded and the coordinates on the screen. This is what our app looks now. Just one image on the screen at coordinates 0, 0. To advance and reverse the slideshow, we'll need two functions that are called from the buttons we'll create. Next, we'll add a button to reverse the slideshow. We'll tie the left image with the function click left. Now we'll create another button to advance the slideshow. We'll tie the right image with function click right. To be a slideshow, we need multiple images, so we'll add a second image, image 2. We'll load the image just like the first image. Inside click left, we'll use view set image to set the view, image view, to the first image, which is image. Inside click right, we'll use view set image to set the view, image view, to the second image, which is image 2. Now let's see what that looks like. It works just like we thought. Instead of saying image 1, image 2, image 3, and so on, we'll just tell Visual Studio that we need five images. We'll load all five images into their correct location in the array. Now we'll change image view to use image sub zero, which is the first image, photo one. Now let's add a variable to keep track of which image we're looking at. We'll set it to zero because in view add we're loading image zero. Inside click left, we're going to set the view equal to what the current image is. Each time click left is called, we'll subtract one from the current image. Each time click right is called, we'll add one to the current image and set the view to the current image. Let's see what that looks like. We're on image zero, we'll cycle through the images, and now we've gone too far. So we need to check if the current image is greater than the number of images we have. If the current image is greater than the number of images we have, we'll want to cycle back to the first image. If the current image is less than or equal to zero, we'll want to cycle back to the last image. Now we have a working slideshow on the iPhone and we did it all in Windows with Dragonfire SDK.